Huh. Video number 11, Travis Wayne Goodsell. My goodness, just pouring out the videos because YouTube has decided to censor me. Uh, in the Joseph Smith history that is canonized from 1838, we have Joseph Smith talking to a Methodist preacher out in Harmony, north of Pittsburgh, where Emma and her family resided until this incident with the Methodist preacher <coughs> occurred. Uh, it was um, 1828, was it? Was that when he lost the 116 pages? Because it was during this time period when he uh, lost his firstborn son. They lost their firstborn son and went to Emma's Methodist church for consolation and the Methodists found out about Joseph Smith being arrested for being a glass looker on the 20th of May, March, 1826. <clears throat> and so uh, using a stone for visions and revelations. So you can see what he's alluding to here. But uh, yeah, they wanted nothing to do with his kind in their church. And since Emma was married to him, uh, she had to go too. And since Emma had her parents, they had to go. And so then they went to the, the Smith farm and they had to figure out what to do next. Joseph Smith Jr. I uh, had to be put on hiatus for a year, so the Book of Mormon was done in a month and a half. The church is wrong. It's a month and a half. And uh, but uh, <coughs> regard <coughs> <coughs> regardless of the real church history, because this is not the real church history. It's labeled church history. And, uh, and so uh, this is learning of the Jews messianic literature if you're wondering what it actually is and so the Methodist preacher tells Joseph Smith concerning his first vision dream not literal <coughs> that uh, uh, he, Joseph says, I was greatly surprised at his behavior, talking about the first vision, he treated my communication not only lightly, but with great contempt, saying it was all of the devil, that there is no such things as visions or revelations in these days, that all such things had ceased with the apostles, and there would never be any more of them. So since Joseph Smith, who's had visions and revelations for the church? Give you all the time you need. You can go back all the way to Brigham Young if you need to. <laughs> I even did a book on it, labeled it wrong, but it was right because everybody was buying the book. <laughs> and frustrated that it wasn't what they were expecting. <clears throat> but uh, that was back in the days where I was publishing a book a day <clears throat> but uh, yeah not a single president of this church from Brigham Young through the dark age period from 1887 to 1923 the dark ages of Mormonism <laughs> and especially not since 1923 the closest was Nelson attempting to say that he had a, a visit from those from beyond the, the grave, beyond the veil, the two little girls that he slaughtered on his mm -hmm. operating table and, and went and told her their dad after the mom had already died and trying to coerce him to come to church to pay tithing. Oh, dear God, leave that poor man alone. But yeah, he would not say that he saw them. He said he 
felt their presence. Which makes it even more of a con. But, uh, yeah. I, there's not been a single vision or revelation from any of these prophets. And Joseph didn't have them either, technically. <laughs> it's not literal, not literally true. But, uh, yeah. He does give prophecies, though. He prophesied Brigham Young would have him murdered. Fulfilled. True prophet. Sorry, ex-Mormons. <laughs> 19 July 1840 from the Joseph Smith papers I was just like holy crap it's the holy grail of what I was researching I already knew Brigham Young had done it because I'd done a forensic investigation of the Carthage jail assassination but uh, to see it in writing from Joseph Smith himself dear God it's like I didn't even need to waste my time with all that study and research. Should have just read that one alone. Done. That's the cliff notes. <laughs> and it was held back by the church. So yeah, I mean all of the all of the visions and revelations have ceased with Joseph Smith. That there would never be any more of them until the restoration, maybe? Hmm. Man like Moses? One mighty and strong? He's got different names. His actual name is Emmanuel from Isaiah. So, somewhere out there, beneath a pale blood moon. Yep. You gotta watch my videos if you're gonna understand what I'm talking about.